Hi, welcome to Mondays in the Psalter. I'm Pastor Vandercook. Today we are looking at Psalm 119 verses 97 through 104. That's right, we finally hit triple digits now on Psalm 119. Uh, only about uh, 60, almost 70 more verses to go. Uh, but we're getting there. We're getting there. We're going to make it through this psalm yet. Uh, you'll see. All right, so we're looking at, uh, as I said, verses 97 through 104. Oh, how I love your law. It is my meditation all the day. Your commandment makes me wiser than my enemies, for it is ever with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for your testimonies are my meditation. I understand more than the aged, for I keep your precepts. I hold back my feet from every evil way in order to keep your word. I do not turn aside from your rules, for you have taught me. How sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through your precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. So there's a couple things to look at with this psalm. First of all, or this section of Psalm 119, sorry, again, we're looking at a, an eight-verse section, octet, if you will, of, of Psalm 119 here. Verse 97 introduces this psalm quite well. Oh, Lord, I love your law. It is my meditation all the day. And what follows are the good things that happen because the law is the meditation of the psalmist here. So he uses, the psalmist here uses uh, three different words here to describe his enemies in 98, 99, and 100 in those three verses. First of all, in verse 98, he uses the word enemies, and that's straightforward enough. Uh, and in fact, if we were to say, hey, the, the word of the Lord, uh, the, the commandments of God make us wiser than our enemies, we have no problem with that. It makes sense. Uh, because our enemies are not going to be guided by God's word, not going to be guided by his law, uh, and therefore in that sense, yeah, we're very easily wiser than our enemies. The next two verses, though, uh, might strike us as a little odd. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for your testimonies are my meditation. Again, it's good that the Lord's testimonies, his word, is our meditation. It's what we meditate on. It's what we read. It's what, it's what uh, feeds our faith. But to say that it makes us, um, gives us more understanding than all of our teachers strikes us as, well, quite frankly, uh, contrary to what the fourth commandment would have us teach, right? That we are to honor those who are in authority over us. Um, so uh, reading, reading Luther on this earlier, um, and I think he's right about this, is that whenever you look at this and you say, I have more understanding than all my teachers, you have to understand that as being another uh, synonym for enemies. Now, of course, your teacher is not your enemy. Don't, don't get me wrong. Your teacher is not your enemy. But if you have somebody that is teaching you falsely, who is not meditating on the word of God, then that teacher is your enemy. Then that teacher is one that uh, that's, that's teaching contrary to God's word, and that teacher is one that we should mark and avoid. The same thing is also true for the next verse. I understand more than the aged, for I keep your precepts. Once again, of course, uh, the word of God teaches us, the fourth commandment again, uh, teaches us that we are to respect those who are our elders. Uh, and you should respect your elders. Uh, they have lived longer lives than you. They're smarter than you because they've had more life experience than you. But when it comes to matters of the Word of God, when our elders, and our elders might do this indeed, they may lead us astray from the Word of God uh, because they meditate not on the things of God but on the things of man, then we are wiser than our elders because those elders have become our enemies once again. So again, uh, this is not, the psalmist here is not going contrary to uh, the word of God here. He's not contradicting uh, the Ten Commandments, namely the Fourth Commandment, but rather he's showing how even those who are uh, in authority in the world around us, who are our elders, even they can uh, go contrary to the word of God. And at that point, anybody who tries to lead us away from the word of God is our enemy. 
Well, the psalm goes on, or the, the, this section of the psalm goes on. I hold back my feet from every evil way in order to keep your word. I do not turn aside from your rules, for they have taught me how sweet are your words to my mouth, sweeter than honey to my mouth. We say these things about the word of God, about God's law, because uh, it leads us into paths of righteousness. It leads us into the good way. It shows us who Christ is, what he's done for us, uh, and it shows us how to live as God's people. Uh, and so, indeed, there is much wisdom to be found in the Lord's word, to be found in his law. It is sweeter than honey to our mouths. Uh, because we, as those who have been redeemed by Christ the crucified, there's nothing that we value more than hearing, uh, than gladly hearing and learning the word of God. So pray this psalm this week. Pray that you too would find comfort in God's word and that you would find it sweeter than honey to your mouth. God's blessings on your week. We'll see you again on Mondays in the Psalter.